Veterans reentering civilian life face many challenges, including finding a job. Hi, I'm Montel Williams. Welcome to this edition of Military Makeover Operation Career. Today, we have four inspirational stories of former servicemen and women who've reinvented themselves and are now thriving at companies who value their unique skills. As international conflicts continue, and they multiply, maintaining our military superiority is vital. No one understands this better than Draken International, who's dedicated to enhancing our national defenses. Let's take a look at this. The United States military prides itself on superior coordination, dedication, and excellence. Draken International understands how to maintain those advantages through rigorous hands-on military training throughout the free world. Draken is a term for dragon. The name was to be thought of as an adversary in the air to coincide with what Draken International does. We employ fighter aircraft against the United States Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps in order to train our young men and women that are flying in those assets. I'm the site manager at Draken International. There's about 20 plus detachments that we uh, do across the enterprise or across the United States. Uh, I am in charge of the maintenance effort for that, getting the maintenance folks there, getting the airplanes there, and performing the contract objectives. My main focus is to provide the people that work in the back shops everything that they need for our fleet. The back shops are where we take parts off of the airplane, make sure they're completely functional. That way we can give them to the mechanics to install back onto the airplanes and get them flying. Training American pilots how to fly foreign jets in simulated combat against American jets is demanding, but essential work in keeping the United States safe. This company owns real combat aircraft. The pilots that we have, the crew chiefs that we have, the, the maintenance folks that we have, have a tremendous amount of experience in fighter aviation. This is experience that came with harrowing consequences for William. I joined the Air Force in uh, 1993. In 1996, we were deployed to Saudi Arabia. We were one day or two days from leaving the country to come back home to our families. Uh, and a terrorist uh, detonated a 5,000 pound explosive bomb right next to the base where we were all stationed at. I lost 12 of my friends in one night. Guys that I worked with day in and day out. We were awarded the Purple Heart for that. I was lucky I was able to come home. Valerie's experience followed a different route. I always wanted to join the military from a young age. So I joined the Navy and got into aviation. I loved how fast paced it was. I loved how it was a little dangerous. Uh, I loved how everybody takes care of each other. I did spend a little bit of time on aircraft carriers because that's where we launch. If you ever get to be on an aircraft carrier and get to be on the flight deck when we're launching airplanes off, it's just, it's an incredible experience. It's loud, it's exhilarating, it's, it's dirty, it's just, it's fun. I was fortunate enough after pilot training to be selected to fly fighters from the F-4 to the A-7 to the stealth fighter, the 117. So I was really, really blessed to have a wonderful flying career. Like many veterans though, leaving the military for the civilian world can be complex and emotional. When you first get out, you're still trying to figure out, you know, how to be a civilian again and how to interact with people who don't understand your experience. As you transition out of the military world and your comfort zone, there are bumps in the road thinking, uh, I may not be able to make it. Not sure that you, you are as marketable as the next individual. But Draken understands Bumpy, and these veterans are grateful. We seek out military vets. It is a comfortable transition. So hiring vets is a big part of what we do because they bring a skill set that is mutually beneficial. If you're looking to transition into one of the coolest spots to ever work at once you retire from the military, come check us out. Draken is definitely the place for you to be. Draken International, focused on peace, prepared for conflict.
Sunrun knows that clean, affordable electricity is an essential part of the worldwide energy mix. That's why they're leading the way in solar energy production, and veterans are a part of their success. Sunrun is on a mission. Everything they do is driven by a determination to transform the way Americans power their lives. It's a huge job. Sunrun is a residential home solar installer, and we go to customers' homes to provide them alternative energy options. So what Sunrun has been able to do, we provide people the, the relief of stress and of uncertainty that at least they know the lights will always come on. We get very positive feedback from our customers. We're very customer focused, very customer oriented, and just to make sure that they have the best experience possible with Sunrun. Customer satisfaction is hardwired into the Sunrun culture, from top management to the installation teams. My day-to-day -day as, as a regional operations manager is, is I support those teams that are in the field, so that my real role is to ensure that the 300 employees that work with us in the central region have the equipment, have the training, have the knowledge to complete the tasks that they have. That's our day-to-day, -day every, <laughs> every day. I think that the first customer interaction is very unique because we're the first face that they see to make sure that everything is good to go for us to be able to install panels on their home. We're very customer focused, customer obsessed, making sure that they're happy with their solar systems and just have the best experience with us. Teamwork, dedication, and mission focused are some of the main lessons learned from years of military experience. Those soft skills that the military ingrained in us as far as being obsessed to get the mission done directly correlate with being customer obsessed. Veterans can feel at peace knowing that there's a lot of parallels between Sunrun and the military with regards to career path, career growth, working in small teams. And it all begins with the moral obligation to be better, uh, look out for our teammates or our customers or our peers, regardless of the situation. The road from active military to civilian employee can be a complex transition. My transition out of the military was not easy. When I transitioned out of the service, there was a bit of an identity crisis. I was used to a very close-knit team, and when I got out, it kind of didn't have that anymore. I joined the military back in 2004. I joined the U.S. Navy. I was a sonar technician, so my job was to classify, track, and detect underwater submarines. I was a corporal in the U.S. Army. I was in an armor battalion. We spent the majority of our time performing long-range reconnaissance missions. At Sunrun, understanding the complexity of returning warriors is part of their corporate DNA. I began finding a place here that reminded me a lot of my days in service. We have a very close team. That allowed me to find a place back in the world. Sunrun, being human-centered, it aligned a lot with the values that I learned in the military, which were honor, courage, and commitment. Sunrun's military-friendly focus also applies to the spouses of current active duty warriors providing good jobs that are flexible and challenging. We see the spouses of our service men and women in like an equal light. My husband being active duty does have to move every once in a while. I get to go with him and keep my same job. Having something where I can work remotely and it moves with me is, is really nice. So many different ways to incorporate work life and home life together. It's a great company to work for. Sunrun, leading United States from carbon to clean. Kansas City, Kansas, the heartland, 
and home of some of the best blues, brews, and barbecues in the entire country, as well as a trucking giant, Riverside Transport, one of North America's most successful trucking companies. A key to their winning formula is a diverse workforce that includes many veterans. Riverside Transportation provides safe, reliable, and continuous on-time service to its expanding customer base. Fueling their growth are the men and women behind the wheel. I started in uh, transportation right out of the Marine Corps. When I was exiting the Marine Corps, I interviewed with a number of companies, and I never gave a thought to trucking. Uh, but when I started talking to the folks that were involved with transportation and trucking, I found a correlation between becoming a driver manager at a trucking company, very similar to being responsible for 30 Marines in a rifle platoon. I'm a driver for a dedicated retail account and we pick up the loads from a distribution center and run it out to the stores and offload the trucks ourselves. In the military, you did have a lot of structure, you did have a lot of superiors. So when you're out in the field on deployment and stuff like that, you're put on task and told a mission to complete that mission. And it's the same concept here. I come to a home base and I talk to the higher ups and I'm able to step out and complete the task and mission at hand that they provide me. My day-to-day -day responsibilities are overseeing five to six driver managers who manage anywhere from 25 to 35 trucks on a day-to-day -day basis. We want more veterans because veterans have a mindset and a mentality that they're gonna get out there and they're gonna do whatever it takes to get the job done. It's a mindset born of years of proudly serving their country. The day 9-11 happened, I knew I was signing those papers. I went to an Air Force recruiter and talked to him about joining and signed the dotted line that day on my 18th birthday. I joined because my father was in the military, my grandfather was in the military, so I wanted to kind of start a tradition of being in the military. Nine months later, I got an email and a phone call that, hey, you've been selected to deploy to Iraq, so here I go. But joining also means having to leave at some point, and that can be challenging for some of our veterans. So when I separated in October 23rd of 2012, I definitely struggled trying to find solid work and try to find something that, that fit where they didn't understand some of my mannerisms, they didn't understand uh, some of my work ethic, and some of my really a struggle was almost like just two pieces of sandpaper rubbing together, but then I, I found trekking just by chance. I really got lucky and everybody I've been with in RTI has just been phenomenal. I picked trucking because of the driver manager role for me. Coming out of a rifle platoon environment was very familiar and very similar. So it was just an easy adjustment for me to say I could relate to that. Since the day I started, I've been treated like family. It's been a, a warm atmosphere and we're here to take care of one another. At Riverside, it's more than family, however. We take a special interest in our vets to bring them along and help them in any way we can. We do pay our veterans uh, more money, so we value their experience and pay them for that. If they honor their vets, they definitely look after their vets. A lot of companies don't offer anything extra for veterans, so by doing that, we want to see more veterans come this way. Even with a bump in pay, life on the road can become a little isolating. That's a challenge for every driver out there. A challenge Andrew takes in stride. He's definitely my buddy. He is my connection to the world, and it just melts everything away. Extra pay, flexible schedules, and veteran-friendly, RTI presents many options for those transitioning. So it's a great opportunity for someone coming out of the military to develop their own company and take advantage of a lot of the skills that they've developed in the military and develop something good that they can support themselves and support a family. Riverside Transport, driving for success.
Titan International has been manufacturing tires and wheels to keep the American farming and construction industries moving since 1890. We headed to the headquarters in Quincy, Illinois, to learn how this global powerhouse is creating long-lasting careers for U.S. veterans nationwide. Titan International has built a successful enterprise as the leader of both Titan and Goodyear Farm Tire brands, offering a full line of wheels, tires, and undercarriage products for a wide variety of off-the-road equipment. Their reputation of durable products and quality service have kept them at the forefront of the industry for decades, which is why Titan is dedicated to recruiting passionate and skilled employees who serve as the backbone of the company's legacy. Meet U.S. Marine Corps veteran Sean Dean. I enlisted in the Marine Corps in 1993. Saw a few different deployments uh, over those four years and uh, I learned a lot about work ethic and uh, the discipline that it takes to get what you want in life. Sean currently works as a production control manager at Titan's Wheel Manufacturing Division headquarters in Quincy, Illinois. I've been here for about 14 years. Uh, production control manager basically means I, I support everything production. So all of your warehouse shipping, receiving, scheduling, work with all of those folks and help uh, build those teams. One thing that I look for is that, that work ethic and any kind of past experience, uh, be it military, uh, that, that's obviously a, a leg up. That goes a long way in what we're trying to accomplish here at Titan, the, the whole team goal, and we don't get to the end without being uh, one team. Glenn Chandler, is a U.S. Army reservist with over 28 years of service and two deployments to Iraq in 2004 and again in 2009. After his final deployment, he joined Titan in 2010 as a machine operator and has since then been promoted to a quality technician. My role here at Titan, basically we are responsible to ensure that our product meets our quality standards and the quality standards of our customers. The most likely scenario in my job is we measure, we record, and we analyze the data. Titan has supported me uh, within my military career. They've worked with me as far as the time off that I needed to fulfill that obligation. As a dual citizen, it's increasingly uh, hard to manage two jobs, and I've done so for a very long time. Uh, some employers don't do a very good job. They're not very well informed. I feel Titan is well informed and they know how to deal with that situation. I thought it was ironic that when I came here, I was helping build and inspect the exact same parts that I spent thousands of miles traveling on overseas, whether it be tanks, wheel vehicles, track vehicles, all of it. I thought that was pretty cool. Dan Kaiser started with Titan in December 1993 as a tool engineering manager and continually expanded his responsibilities throughout his career, most recently becoming general manager of the North American Wheel Division. I came to Titan uh, almost 30 years ago. I was working in the engineering field and uh, Titan was the up and coming factory in the area and uh, opportunity was really great for me and 28 years later it, it has been. We've grown the business tremendously over the course of the time that I've been here. So I think what sets Titan apart would be the people, the, the teamwork, the veterans that, that participate here. We've evolved from this rural location to be a, one of the largest wheel and tire manufacturers in the world. We participate in the food chain, the mining operations, the construction operations, the, the military, and it's all due to the teamwork developed right out of this facility and we constantly are bringing new innovations to the wheel and tire. It's kind of hard to uh, reinvent the wheel, but we do it on a regular basis. We have lots of room to expand, uh, I believe, yet for this facility and the corporation. We can bring our, our innovations uh, all over the world. To find out more about promising career opportunities at Titan International, visit titan-intl.com. Great to see that after sacrificing so much of their military service, today's veterans are able to shine at these outstanding companies. I'm Monta Williams. I want to thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Military Makeover Operation Career. We'll see you next time.